Previously in RG Snook, I showed you three Dollar Tree DIYs that looked high end, and these are very easy to do using regular Dollar Tree items. If you haven't watched this video yet, make sure to check it out right after today's video. hello guys and welcome back to my channel my name is naraji as you all know and if you're new here welcome and i would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my family for my returning subscribers thank you for coming back as always so we're just going straight into it without wasting any more time so today i'll be showing you how i use this nice five inch and four inches dollar tree square mirrors to make a nice high-end looking DIYs that you can actually use around your home and also for events if you want to. I will also be using the stumbling blocks or Jenga blocks that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Now let's get started. So first things first, I'll be putting these mirrors together to create some kind of a base for our DIY. And I'll be using my Jenga blocks to actually create a frame so that this can hold perfectly. Keep in mind that although I'm using a 5 inch mirror in the center, you could also use all 3 mirrors as 4 inches or all 3 mirrors as 5 inches. I just chose to have the middle part of this a little bit elevated. Alright, so I'll be creating the sides of my stand and to do so, I will have to take out the dots on the back because that is very obstructive when I try to glue the Jenga blocks on there. They come up very easy, so you can just use a knife like I am currently doing to actually take that off. So I am using both E6000 glue or Gorilla glue if you choose, as well as my hot glue to glue this together. The hot glue is going to have it hold immediately, while the E6000 glue would take some time to cure and then have it bind for uh, a sturdier look. Alright, so be generous with your hot glue here. And I will go ahead to place that against the Jenga block on the side, which is holding both mirrors. If you have any questions about this DIY, please do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. And I'll be more than happy to answer your inquiries. So I made two of this, as you can now see. And we'll go ahead to do the other part of our stand, like the other side of it, having it attached to the sides because that will be easy for you to mount together once again i'll be using tons and tons of jenga blocks to have this hold perfectly because obviously uh, if you try to glue the mirrors by themselves without some kind of structure holding it together it could easily come apart now we're putting our structure together and as you can see it's kind of coming together it looks like a crate a rectangular crate which i kind of like so yeah we'll go ahead and seal the sides and then we'll get to work on the top part of our stand okay so i'll go ahead and have that sealed and then the last part which is putting the top of our stand is pretty straightforward also keep in mind that the bottom part of this is hollow and you could choose to cover it or leave it open i recommend to leave it open because if you're doing all three sizes the same size you can flip this over and actually use it as a, a flower vase or some kind of stand where you can put flowers inside and then if you flip it over on the other side you can actually stand other ornaments or other decorative vases or flower vases on top of it or candles as you will see me do in this video Okay, so to do the top was pretty easy because of the Jenga blocks as you can see. So once you really have that base, it is pretty straightforward from there on. Okay, so my dearests, if you've watched right up to this point, I would love it if you can comment square mirrors in the comment section below and show your girls some love. 
as it is the tradition on Naraji's nook. Thank you. Alright, so we're done with this part. I will go ahead and clean the mirrors and then set aside while I work on the second part using these candles from the Dollar Tree. Now let's move on to the next part of our DIY. So we will be using nine of this. One of these goes for $1.25. So yeah, I'll be using nine of these to create our centerpiece. Right, so there's something about these candles. These paper do not come off easy. So even if when I soak them overnight, they do not come off easy. So I found a way to actually mask that and I will be using baking soda and acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree to do so. All right, so I'll be using water-based acrylic paint to do so as well as baking soda. I do not really go by any kind of measurement, but I usually say for every tablespoon of acrylic paint, you can use two to three tablespoons of baking powder. If you must need a measurement, you can use that. All right, before applying this, because I will be painting it, I decided to use my sealing tape to mask out the area where I do not want um, paint to go over you can use masking tape to do this ideally that was what you that is what you should use but because I didn't have that I am using regular tape to do that which works just as fine okay so now I'll be applying my baking soda and acrylic paint mixture and at this point you can choose to make um, use like a um, any kind of brush or sponge to create some kind of a texture in it so I really wanted to create some kind of texture in it going around at first I wanted the strokes to be all straight horizontally going down but at the end of this you will see I ended up going vertically as you can see me do right now that just looked way more appropriate um, giving the height of the candles but yeah you can do whatever at this point it is your DIY make it fun make it yours Right, so I was done with all nine of them. Set them aside to have them dry properly prior to painting them or spray painting them like I would be doing. Using my Rust-Oleum Gold spray paint, this is what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so yeah, I'm taking off the tape at this point and I love how this turned out. It looked really, really cool simple but very nice a simple touch just elevated it to a whole new level and i really liked the outcome now let's go ahead to dress that up on our stand that we created at the start of this video and this is our final look what do you think please do let me know in the comments section below i really loved how this turned out yeah so I am very pleased with how this turned out. I used it on my dining table as you can see and it was lovely. You can make multiple of this, like multiple um, versions of this or multiple quantities of this and use for an event as a decorative centerpiece and it will work just as fine. Well guys, that is everything I had for you today. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button and the notification so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.
Oh, oh, oh.